Yo, 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 what's going on? This is Gabriel from Motivated Painters. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to be showing you a little small repair that we had to do on a door that got scratched somewhere at the dealership or something like that. I don't even know what happened. It's that nobody guy, you know, scratches stuff. You guys all know the story. Anyways, I'm going to teach you how to keep it small, how to keep it uh, in, all right? So you don't have to be, uh, you don't have to stretch out the panel. Um, and the repair. So I hope this video is ho uh, helpful. Here we go. One, two, test. One, two, test. Put it there. Put it there. Put it there. And that's the way that you gotta do it. Put it there. Put it there. And that's the way you gotta do it when you put it there. Put it there. This is the final test when we're going to say put it there. Okay? So you gotta do it like that because then you wanna make sure that you're gonna get it right, man. You're gonna get it right, man. All right, once that's out of the way, here we go, guys. Today, I will be showing you how to keep it small. Again, um, this uh, little door here got scratched, as I said in the intro video there. Um, I wanna show you how I did this. Now, I slowed it down so you could see where I'm putting the base. You see how I'm letting go of the trigger right there? Let go of the trigger, let go of the trigger, right and that's gonna keep your repair small that's gonna keep your like I always say it contained right you wanna make sure that you keep that contained because that's the way that you're gonna get that color to stay where you want it to stay now you'll see that I'm gonna have to make this a little bigger because this color is very difficult to blend so I put a first coat on uh, like I put like a light coat and then a medium white coat right, followed right after and now I'm tacking it I am not pressing that hard. I'm Putting I don't know maybe like a pound or two of pressure not even though no, less than a pound of pressure um, Just to make sure I get all that see that look at that So that's what I want to that's what you just saw right there. That's what creates sand piling. So I'm gonna put my second coat on now and so you could see I'm going to slow it down once again um, so you can see that I am letting go of the trigger and then limiting that base. Now I'm going to get my blower. Um, if you guys want uh, one of these blowers as a way of supporting the channel and supporting what I'm trying to do here, um, you could email me. I have a, uh, I'll put the email address on the description. Uh, motivated painters at gmail.com and right now I'm taking payment through PayPal which is the only thing I could do for the moment but um, I have a special on those they're $25 each but if you buy five of them I give you a free one so and uh, uh, there's other goodies that come with the blower like a magnet so anyways yeah so there I blew it right this blower makes it very easy because it dries it extracts the water out of the base and then it makes it nice and dry there I am attacking again as you can see you can still see you can see my blender you can see where the the base started so the one thing I've learned guys that if you can still see a little bit of modeling you want to put another coat on right just to make sure that you are gonna get rid of that modeling right so as you can see I made it bigger okay because I want to make sure this color is going to be lost. This color is going to be um, perfectly um, uniform, right? So you want to make sure that you dry this very well. And I didn't even have to polish the store, which was like amazing. Um, that, that always makes me smile when I don't have to polish something. It's great. So now I'm applying a double control coat the way that I do it. So I go up. And then I'm going to, since it's such a small spot, I'll just let it dry for a few seconds. And then I go over it again just to blend it out nice. But as you can see, I'm still, um, I'm still letting go of the trigger to make sure that color uh, gets lost there. So I wanted to show you this. I want to slow it down so you could see. Um, just probably like a hand apart. It's actually a little farther than I want to show you here. It's a sweet spot of the gun where the, the pattern is like perfect because as you can see uh, the farther it goes the more distorted it gets so right there where I show you that arrow right there is a sweet spot so that's where you want to spray and you'll notice that's basically how far I am another thing is you want to start 
clearing out of the panel so off the panel and you go off the panel as well this is going to make sure that you get the proper coverage the proper um, clearing on the door and you're gonna get your edges and you're also going to get a cleaner job because it's gonna um, prevent the dirt that are sitting at the sides there so I'll show you one more time see as I pull the trigger you see right there right where it gets distorted that's when that's where you want it right there right before it gets distorted right a little bit farther than what I'm showing you so yeah so that's it for this video guys uh, a few things make sure you're blowing and packing properly make sure you're clearing off the panel um, I'm going to try to make more videos during the week they're gonna be a little bit less quality but um, you're going to find that uh, there's a lot of value in them so guys thank you so much for watching I love you I love the fact that there's 900 people that ha give a crap about what I have to do here so there you go blend it out beautifully amazing I didn't have to polish it I was so happy wha-bam anyways guys I love you I love you I love you I love you take care please like this video like it like it like it please I beg you there it is finished um, I hope you have an amazing week I'll see you soon what is going on everybody it's me once again I wanted to just uh, ask you for a huge favor before you leave if you haven't got this far can you please like this video please leave a comment I will make sure I answer your comment I'm so glad that you made it this far I'm so glad that you're watching and that you're probably hopefully learning something guys stay blessed keep going do not give up life's worth living take care